help me. Okay, here we have this six degree polynomial equation, and let me tell you, this is not easy. We have x to the sixth power plus two x to the fifth plus two x to the fourth minus two x squared minus two x minus one is equal to zero. And yes, we can use the rational zero theorem and see that one, it's a solution to this equation. Therefore, x minus one is a factor, and we can use that to break it down. But that will be very long. So instead, let me show you after multiple tries how I end up being able to factor this. Here, my first attempt was to just do it by grouping the first three and the last three terms. For the first three terms, I factored it out x to the fourth power, and I get x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then for the last three terms, because we have a minus here, so I have to factor out a negative. Technically, I get negative 1. And then I get 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. And that's equal to 0. Unfortunately, this and that are not the same, so it looks like we cannot continue. Well, what do we do? If you look back to the equation here, you will see that x to the third power is missing, huh? That is the key. So, this is what I did. I look at this and that, and I ask myself, wouldn't it be nice if at the end here I had a plus 1? Just like this right here. And yes, I know, 2 plus 1 is 3, so this and that are not the same. I know, but just kind of watch. You know, it's coming up. Okay, if I add one here, okay, this right here kind of match with that, right? The coefficient wise, right? We have the 1, 2, 2, 1 now. This is 2, 2, 1. So that kind of implies that right here, I need to have something in front that has a 1 as well and uh, some x to some power, right? If that's the case, I can continue. And yes, we can make it happen because x to the third power is missing. Right here, why don't we just add x to the third power and minus x to the third power? That will contribute to this. And because once we have x to the third power, the first four terms, we can only factor out x to the third power, and then we get x to the third power, and then square here, x to the first, and this right here has no x. So this, and that, and right here, that will also be x to the third power. That's the thought process. Now, let me write down everything nicely for you guys. Here we go. Right here, we have x to the 6 plus 2x to the 5th plus 2x to the 4th. And we are going to add x to the third power. And then right away, minus x to the third power. Aha. That's just 0. And then continue with the rest. Then, do it by grouping the first four terms and the last four terms. For the first four terms, we factor out x to the third power, and then we get x to the third power plus 2x squared plus 2, and then 2x, and then plus 1. For the last four terms, because we have a minus here, so we factor out a negative, technically it's a minus 1, and then we get x to the third power plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 because we factor out the negative here. Now, this and that, they match, so we can factor it out. So x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 1, and then we have x cubed minus 1, and that's equal to 0. Now, this right here is just a difference of two cubes, x cubed and 1 cubed, so we can use the formula to factor it. So I'm not worried about this. But how do we deal with this, though? Well, it's kind of like the original situation. Right here, if you look at the first two terms and the last two terms, I factor the out the x squared and I get x plus 2. Right here, we factor out plus 1 and we can have 2x plus 1. This and that, they don't match. So it looks like we cannot continue. Can we do the same trick that what we did earlier? No, because we have the third power, second power, the first power already. We are not going to add a 2.5 power. Don't do that. Hmm. So what do we do with that? In fact, this part's not bad at all. Let me show you. For this, 
The truth is, all we have to do is put x cubed and then plus 1 and then write down the rest and then do this by grouping. Have a look. The first two terms is a sum of two cubes. Use the formula, we will get x plus 1 times x squared minus x and then plus 1. And then the last two terms right here, we can factor out 2x. So that would be a plus in between and then factoring out 2x and then we have x plus 1. Very nice, huh? Now as you can see, this and that, they match. So we can factor that out. And then we will have this, x squared minus x plus 1. And then right here, we add the 2x, because that's the leftover from the second part. So all in all, we have x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 2x. That's just plus x, and then plus 1, like that. So this factors to be that. Now, let me not ignore this anymore. This is the difference of two cubes. So if we factor it, we will end up with x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And all that is equal to 0. Yes, this and that are the same. But this is a factoring already because it's a product of polynomials with less degrees than the original. You can put this and that together and write it as the quantity to the second power, but doesn't really matter anymore. I will tell you though, this and that, we cannot factor anymore. It's irreducible quadratic unless you use complex numbers. But we're not done yet. Because this is an equation, we still have to solve for x. Let's just do it. So, that said, we have the first factor. Put that equal to 0, so we get x is equal to negative 1. Done. Secondly, because this and that are the same, we can just write it down one time. x squared plus x plus 1. It's equal to 0, and then solve for x. Let's just use the quadratic formula, because the coefficient of the x is 1. So it's an odd number. If it's an even number, then I will use completing a square. But anyways, though, x is equal to negative b, which is the 1 here, plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a and c. a and c are both equal to 1 and then divided by 2 times a. And then work that out. That's negative 1 plus or minus. This is 1 minus 4, so it's negative 3 in the square root. And then all over 2. And here we have a negative inside of the square root. Put that on the outside, and we get the i. So we have x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i square root of 3 all over 2. So here we have two more solutions. And lastly, x minus 1 It's equal to 0, x is equal to 1. So that's it. And now, some of you guys might be wondering, isn't this a 6 degree polynomial equation? So shouldn't it be with a total of 6 solutions though? So far we only have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 solutions. Hmm, where are the other two? Well, we do have the other two, it's just that we didn't write it down. Because these two solutions, remember we do have one, two, two solutions from here. It's from this factor. And this factor came from here. But this factor, it's the same as this factor, right? So, if you were going to put this down here, and then just solve it again, you are going to write down x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i squared plus 3 all over 2. And yes, that way you end up with a total of six solutions. Yeah, it's just that these two solutions are being repeated. And yeah, that's it.